Let me just break the ice. I've been in Saskatchewan for the past 10 months or 9 months. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Chelsea Ohinawa. So, let me just break the ice. I've been in Saskatchewan for the past 10 months or 9 months. So, all the videos you've been seeing me do, all the school videos, all the Starbucks videos, I've been doing them in Saskatchewan. Yes, I'm in the University of Saskatchewan. So what happened? What happened was when I first came, you all knew, well, let me say my old subscribers knew that I came to the University of Waterloo. So I did my first term and then after my first term, my grades were bad. Let me start from the beginning. So whilst I was in University of Waterloo, the courses were so difficult for me. It was master's in statistics. And I never really liked statistics even in Kenya University. So it was so difficult for me. And I went to see my supervisor, the one that helped me, like told me that she wanted me to be part of a research team, that it was so difficult for me. So she made me join undergraduate third years to take classes so that I can Get the basics and then move on my second term then i do my main courses so in my first term i was just doing only one course most of my classmates then were doing two or three courses but because everything was hard for me i dropped all the courses and i did only one but i was still a teaching assistant then i used to join the third year classes but even the third year classes i wasn't understanding so imagine so that was what happened and after the first term, you're supposed to get, as a master's student in Canada, you're supposed to get 60 to pass. And to continue being a teaching assistant, you're supposed to be on 80. And my grades came for just that one course I was doing. It was 59, which means I had failed. So what was I supposed to do? Now, they took the TA funding. And the faculty told me that if I wanted to continue, I'd have to pay my own tuition, which was... 8,500 plus and I thought about it that I didn't like the course and now because I failed that course that means I still have to do all my master courses again because I failed that one I have to redo it plus eight more courses to I think to complete so I went to see the supervisor and then they were doing like some back and forth emails blah 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 then I told the faculty coordinator that I want to withdraw that was a decision that I think we all came to because it felt like I was dumb and yeah, so I had to withdraw, but I completed the whole first thing. Now, the decision was what to do. I thought of going to Conestoga College to do PSW. Like, thank God I didn't do that because there's no way I can be a nurse or like be a caretaker. No offense to anybody doing it, but I just don't have the heart and the kindness to take care of people, bath them, change their diapers. That's not something I can do. I always tell my friends that if that's the last job in this world, I don't think I'll do it. I like food services. I like office stuff. So yeah, I then, because I was desperate, I had to go to school, you know, I'm on study permit, so I have to go to school. So I went to buy forms from Conestoga College, and then I applied for the PSW. You know, colleges, you pay for your own tuition, so Whatever it is, you'll get in. So I got in. Then I went to the school. They put me at Guelph and I was still in Waterloo. So I went to tell them that can they like change me to the Guelph, um, to the Kitchener campus because Waterloo and Kitchener is close. And they were like, no. And I was like, I, I just didn't like the PSW. So I just told them, I went back then, I told them that can they change the PSW to let's say business administration or something like that. And then she said, the campus I was going to get for that was Cambridge, which was really far. But during that time, my someone also came to tell me that, why don't I apply to the schools in like Alberta, Saskatchewan, and all those places. Now, I told the person that like, I'm spending so much money on application and I wasn't having money, you know, I was broke. And I said, let me give University of Saskatchewan a shot. 
So I went to look through the courses. I there was no way I was going to do statistics again because I just don't like statistics. I never like statistics and I don't like statistics. Don't know how I survived with a second class upper at Kenya University. I, I did it anyway because I'm smart. Let me drink Coke. So when I applied to University of Saskatchewan, I sent them an email right after that. I have applied. I'm already in Canada. I don't need a study permit and blah, 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 blah. So within about two weeks or three weeks, I was still waiting for, yeah, that time I had the Conestoga like admission and they were waiting for their deposits. Colleges don't joke. They need their money. So I was just contemplating that because I want to do my master's. Then luckily for me, University of Saskatchewan, I got admission there and I was like, go away Conestoga because I am not going to do PSW. So I accepted the admission and I had to pay a deposit of $1,000 and paid for it. So then I was left with rent. And a friend of mine who was also in Waterloo attended, he did his master's here. He was like, oh, they have residence. You can apply, it's cheaper and it's closer to campus and all the benefits that come with it. That time I was paying so much because here, everything you have to pay first, like, like the first month rent. So with that one too, you have to pay an application of $75, have to pay the first month rent, which was $576. Later applied the tuition, I did that. And with the University of Saskatchewan, the residence apartment, I had to pay the whole terms rent, I think. I paid 2000 something, but I didn't know they had the payments plan then. So I paid for it, I paid my tuition. So within that time, I paid like almost $4,000 was gone from my account. So, what did I do? Because now I'm not an investor of Waterloo, right? So I went into my IRCC account, reported myself that I have changed schools. So you go into the account, you do change of school, investor of Waterloo. Put my study permit number, the new school I'm going, the start date, and I think that's it. Then you just submit it. They'll just tell you that that's all they need to know. You don't have to do anything else. So I did that. And once you are out of school, you have to be back in school within 150 days. It's on the IRCC website. And luckily for me, I was within that range. So I was so excited. September through to 30th May, I've been in Saskatchewan. And so far, I love this place. I don't feel like going to live in Ontario anymore. Aside the snow, which is too much. I know a lot of people have been texting me that why do I cover you know sometimes when i'm doing videos you will see that i'll put some stickers or put some blurry on some of the stuff because i wasn't ready to announce that i've moved provinces and because i had to do a study permit extension i know back home in ghana when you are doing stuff like that because we fear that you know witches and wizards you have to hide it so during those january beginning of January, ending of December, I was just in my bed crying. I felt like I had failed because I used to be so smart in SHS primary. And then I come here and then I'm failing my courses. Like all my life, I've never even gotten 59% before, but I came to Canada. Canada humbled me. Like here, yeah, you can't do like you will just grasp whatever they teach you, memorize it and go and write it in an exam. You can't do it. You have to understand it. And my foundation from Kenya University was so bad. So when I came here, I struggled. I used to cry every day. I was thinking that what if IRCC come and carry me and take me home? What if IRCC like I was so and people be scaring you? God, people told me that now you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. Now that you've changed school, do this, do that, do that. God, thank God. I was just listening to my uncle. My uncle is in the US, he's the one that was telling me that I should just stay calm, be cool, and giving me all the clues and hints and what to do and what to do and what to do. And eventually I came here. When I came here so far, so good. I finished one year. I've done it's five things. I'm currently doing Masters of Sustainability in Regenerative Sustainability. The course is so easy for me. It's so simple. It's so I love it. And I am the School of Environment and Sustainability Students Associations president so that video that you saw that i said how i became a student president they were all done in university of saskatchewan so i don't know whether because i told them that i was already in canada that was the reason why 
I got in or my application was so good. My grades from Kenya University are good. As for that, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how. I just, I didn't like the course, but I'm someone that I can learn and I can pass whether I like the course or not. But for this Canada, you can't do that thing. You have to know what you are doing. So that was the reason why what caused everything that made my whole beginning of Canada messed up. But now I'm so good. I'm doing my job. I'm going to school. I'm not going to quit again. I love the course I'm doing. That's why the video I posted on Thursday, I was like, when you are doing a program and you feel that it's going to be an overwhelming course, it's best you do it ASAP. You change it ASAP. Or me, the time that I was supposed to, I could have switched like courses in University of Waterloo, but I think it was too late for me because I dragged the whole situation for too long. My supervisor was dragging me thinking that oh when i do the third year courses it's going to help me and then i'll be able to continue the masters but i knew deep within me that i didn't like what i was doing i didn't like the statistics but she because she kept saying and when you are new you are just too humble and you can't even speak because you feel the white people are something i don't know so i was just quiet and they were just tossing me around but everything that happens happens for a reason i don't know why all those things happen but now see where i am now i'm doing so well there was a time that people didn't even want to associate themselves with me because they felt that i was dumb a whole me people didn't want to associate themselves with me because i came to school and i failed and now i had to move to a different place but the new place i am i love it so much the courses if i pay my own tuition in the masters that i'm doing right now every term i pay six thousand five hundred dollars and it's a two-year program and it's five times. So by the end of this course, I would have paid around 32, 35,000. Even rent is not up. So that's why I'm always saying that I don't have money because the course I'm doing is a professional master's. I'm not doing like academic master's. I'm doing a professional master's. So it's more like it's a work based. Like from this master's, you can just go into professional work. You know, professional master's, you know, they don't give you a funding you don't get funding you don't get scholarships so you pay your own tuition i got a bursary which was like thousand dollars but that is like one percent of even 0.1 percent of what i'm supposed to pay so i pay my own tuition now i've paid one year which is off i still have about nineteen thousand more to pay so it's a lot of stress on me i'm just working at starbucks but i know i'll get it done that's for this course, I've made up my mind that I'm not going to quit. So that is a fact that I'm not going to quit at all. And I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, I was seeing something. I'm so sorry that when I'm doing sit-down videos, it's always all over the place because I'm always doing it off-head. So yes, my study permit is expiring this year, August 2024, because I came in August 2022. So I had to do an extension. The, the reason why I didn't want to talk about all this was because I wanted to extend my study permit first before I announced that I've moved provinces. So I did my study permit on April 27th, 2024. And I got feedback from them on May 24th, May, I think. So I it took like a month to get my extension. And they gave me up to November, 2025. But I'll be done with school on August 2025. And they gave me up to november now that is the card is out of the bag i'm going to do a video on how to do your study permit extension because i did everything myself with no help i just watched one guy on youtube and then i did it myself so i'm also going to do a video so that if anybody is here that is trying to do that study permit extension you'll be able to do it one thing is you don't have to lie about it say the truth i told them i'll finish in august 2025 but they being so sensible, they knew that, oh, once she's done, she'll need some time to do her work permit. So they gave me an extra two months, which is good. So yes, guys, I'm no more in Waterloo, but I'm going to Waterloo next week to shoot the content for Afro Vibes. I did that last year and I'm going back this year to do it. And it's going to be a whole one week vlog. So now that I've told you guys where I am now. I can do my videos and be free. So many people are asking me, why did you cry? Do you cover here? Why are you now? I couldn't answer those. Sometimes when I see those questions, I'm like, oh God, why can't these people leave me alone and let me explain things at the right time? Now this is the time. 
I've moved and now you know where I am. I'm in Saskatchewan. Now vlogs back to back. I'll do a school vlog where I'll go through all the apartments and show you around but now I'm in Saskatchewan. I love the place. If you are looking for a place so peaceful, just that the cold is too much. But the land everywhere is green, beautiful, nice. So I recommend moving to Saskatchewan. Ontario is choked. Ontario is choked. You can go to Ontario anytime you want. Next week, I'm going there by myself. I booked my own flight. I'm going by myself with my own money. You can do whatever that you want. So my advice to you is when you go to a place and you feel that you don't fit there anymore or it's not working, be quick and move and have a plan B, plan C, plan D, and whatever. So I'll end my video here. That is the news. Yes got my study permit now i'll do a video on that i'll show you guys around if you want some specific content you want me to do let me know now i have a microphone i have two microphones so i can do interviews now that i've been able to bring it out i have so much content in mind that we are going to do okay i'll come your way same time next week with another video Bye. <music>